the small suburb of Erdington, located in Birmingham, England, detectives had two murders that were so similar the murders were almost a carbon copy of each other. But what was strange is the fact that the murders occurred 157 years apart. On May 27, 1817, a man came across a bundle of clothing, a hat, and shoes that were located near a large water pit. The man reported his find to authorities, who then located the body of 20-year-old Mary Ashford. The day before, Mary had attended a dance with her friend Hannah Cox. Before the dance, Mary had changed out of her work clothing and into a special outfit. While at the dance, Mary met Abraham Thornton, and the two were seen dancing and enjoying each other's company. Around midnight, Mary and Abraham left to dance and were seen walking towards the direction of Mary's grandfather's house. At around 4 a.m., Mary went back to her friend Hannah's house to change back into her work clothing. Witnesses would then see Mary walking alone down the road headed towards her home. This would be the last time Mary would be seen alive. Authorities quickly arrested Abraham for Mary's murder. Abraham would tell authorities that he was with Mary until about 3 a.m. when he walked her towards Hannah's home, but did not walk Mary all the way there. Abraham also had witnesses to corroborate his alibi. Also, there was no concrete physical evidence to tie Abraham back to Mary's murder. During Abraham's trial, he was found not guilty. Mary's brother, William Ashford, refused to accept the not guilty verdict and demanded a second trial from the courts. The law at the time allowed a trial by battle, which was a fight to the death in order to prove one's innocence. Abraham was willing to fight to defend his innocence, but Mary's brother William refused to participate in the duel. Abraham was allowed to walk free, but unfortunately, public opinion sided with William in the belief that Abraham was guilty. Abraham was heavily ridiculed until eventually he left England for the United States. Strangely, it was reported that prior to Mary's death, she had felt a sense of foreboding and dread. It was said that Mary had told Hannah's mother that she had a bad feeling about the week to come. Unfortunately, Mary's murder was never solved. Exactly 157 years later, another murder with similar circumstances occurred. On May 27, 1974, the lifeless body of 20-year-old Barbara Forrest was found near a ditch in Pipe Hayes Park. Barbara's cause of death was determined to be strangulation. Barbara had been a nurse at a nearby children's home. Prior to her death, Barbara was seen with her boyfriend Simon Belcher at several different bars dancing and having a good time. Simon told authorities that the last time he saw Barbara alive was around 1 a.m. when he walked her to the bus. Detectives immediately began an investigation and subsequent hunt for Barbara's killer. Over 100 detectives were reported to have assisted in Barbara's case, and they quickly focused in on Michael Ian Thornton. Michael was Barbara's co-worker and lived near the location where Barbara was found. Authorities had allegedly found bloodstains on Michael's pants and discovered that the alibi given by Michael's mother was false. Detectives arrested Michael for Barbara's murder. During Michael's trial, the jury found that there was a lack of evidence and found Michael not guilty. Barbara's sister, Erica Forrest, refused to accept the verdict and demanded further investigation and a second trial. It was said that prior to Barbara's death, she had also felt a sense of dread and foreboding. As she had told a co-worker just days before her murder, quote, This is going to be my unlucky month. I just know it. Don't ask me why. 
Barbara's murder also remains unsolved. Some say that the details of the two murders were just coincidences, but one cannot discount the fact that that is a lot of coincidences. Just to recap, both murders had the following similarities. Both victims were 20-year-old women who spent their last hours dancing, had been killed in the early morning hours, and had an accused suspect with the last name Thornton, who were found not guilty at their respective trials. Both had prophetic bad feelings prior to their death, and both murders remain unsolved. There are cases of reincarnation, but is it possible that specific events can be reincarnated? They say history repeats itself, but is this a case in which history was destined to reoccur? Perhaps this will be answered in the future if there is a third carbon copy of this murder. <laughs>